Hanko Trade Tutorial How to use Hanko Trade for Beginners Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Hanko Trade and this is a great platform for somebody who has been trading for quite some time or somebody that is just starting out as a trader right here today. So I'm going to show you a bunch of awesome things that you can check out and you can actually make money while doing this. So the first thing you want to have a look at is up on the left hand side here you have a live account. Now a live account is of course live you will be trading with actual money and if you're a little bit more experienced having a live account would probably be a better choice for you because all of your moves that you will be making will be making you money. On the other hand, if you are not a, an experienced trader, having a demo account right over here, as you can see, will probably be a better idea so that you can sort of get an idea of exactly what it is to trade and how to trade on Hanko Trade. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on add a demo account and you can tap on the add demo account just over here. Now as you can see here there is the opportunity to choose from different accounts. So you have the MT4 so it also says please pair ending um, please use pairs ending with that code and that stands for Hanko Trade. Alright so that's great. An MT4 account or an MT5 account. Um, an MT4 account is more for somebody that is starting out, is starting to trade now as a beginner. Um, it just offers sort of more basic options in your accounts. Uh, an MT5 is uh, sort of a little bit more of an advanced um, uh, settings uh, and, and an advanced account. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the MT4 just for the uh, purpose of this tutorial. Then we're going down now and you can select the account type. So the first account type over here you'll see that is an STP and the second one you can see there's an ENC. Now the ENC plus over here that you see is uh, just a couple more options than the ENC. So I'm going to go ahead and just give you a breakdown. Basically an ENC a broker offers more speed and transparency um, and does also demand a bit higher um, commission fees um, and the STP brokers they have inconsistent processing times which um, can reduce your order routing transparency but really um, they do offer better um, pricing more favorable pricing so you know it really depends on what sort of account type you'd like but we're gonna go in and we're gonna tap on the STP over here that's great then the next thing of course you need the account denomination so whatever um, currency you're trading in and then your leverage so the leverage over here is the use of borrowed money um, or capital to invest into a currency, a stock or a security, whatever the case may be. And the concept of this leverage is um, it's very common in um, forex trading. So basically you'd be borrowing money from a broker um, or an investor and it can um, allow you to trade in much larger capacity. So um, we're going to go in here and we're going to just go middle ground. We're going to go 200 times and then we're going to add funds. And here, as we um, said before, it is a demo account. So we are going to add um, not real funds. We're going to add like play, play funds. So we're going to go in and add a thousand over here, which is um, USD, a thousand dollars, and we're going to tap on open account. So this is the next page that you will land on. As you can see here, it tells you that your email address has now been registered. And it also says that um, your credentials are as follows. As you can see here, you have a trading ID, a password, and a server. And um, that server is a Hanko Trade demo. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to go over to the right-hand side. And there is a trading terminal right over there. Now once you tap on the trading terminal, you will see that there is a desktop, iOS, Android, Trader and Mac. Now, of course, you need to choose the browser that you are currently using or the device that you're currently using. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to tap on that. And you basically, it's going to prompt you to install the um, setup onto your device. And you are going to start using that to trade on Hanko Trade. So this is now basically your Hanko Trade MT4 
per um, terminal so this is what it looks like and here are um, a couple indicators so what we're going to do on the left hand side you're going to go down and you're going to see the hanker trade mt4 um, under the navigation bar on the left and you're going to right click on that then you're going to go into log into trade account right so it'll open up this window and here you're going to just put in your login details your um, password and then you're going to tap on login so if you're not familiar as to where to find this you can actually find it over here if you're going back up to your account operation you can find it here or if you're going into your um, email address you can actually find it there so if you go into your email address they will have emailed all these details to you so what we're going to do right now is we're going to just enter these details so now that we've done that we have actually now entered our account so if you go right over here you can just um, shift this sidebar up so that you can actually see all of your indicators over here so once we are now logged in and set up we are ready to start trading so before we can actually start trading we need to put some funds into our account so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the hanko trade um, dashboard so on the left hand side you have the dashboard as you can see over here and uh, this is basically your recent trading accounts um, you can also see your live trading accounts on the right hand side here you have some quick links that you can jump straight into and then um, again on the left hand side you've got your profile which you can start changing all the details there about your profile so if you need to change um, such as your name gender date of birth all of this information over here that you see on screen that you can change right over there then you have account operation and this over here just gives you the details of each and every one of your accounts and then of course um, to start trading you need to actually uh, deposit some funds so we go into the deposit on the left hand side over here and you have your cryptocurrency um, you have your deposit transactions and then you also have um, your history which you can see all over here now with a demo account as you can see you cannot actually deposit funds so um, I can't actually show you how to do it but it is very very easy so all you need to do is actually choose the account that it's coming from it's basically like setting up um, a billing address and then choosing what you want to actually uh, deposit and how much you want to deposit and you just click on deposit and it'll make the transfer Going into the left side now, you can see that there's a withdrawals tab. And again, of course, it's the simplest thing. Over here, all you need to do is you need to withdraw the funds that you have um, actually ha got on the Hanko Trade portal. Then um, the bonus on the left over here, there is um, a bonus request. So over here, basically, you can just select the trading ID over here. And uh, you can see your, um, your bonuses. Uh, your requests as well as your history and then you have your trading terminals again that is uh, what we opened up earlier on just over here so this is the Hanko trade demo demo account trading terminal uh, that's how you access it there and then of course your referrals if you have any referrals this is where you can actually access it so um, basically you know you can um, get involved in their um, affiliate program and uh, you can register as an affiliate and you can get all your referrals and manage it all right over here so you're going to jump back into your um, Hanko demo account over here and you can see now on the left hand side that these uh, symbols are all grayed out and this last one over here is actually um, in color so we're going to right click over here and you will get um, two options either you can show all the symbols or you can hide all the symbols what we're going to do is we're going to tap on symbols and you can view them all over here now the folder that you're going to be looking for is forex hkt this is the one that you're going to tap on you're going to open that one up once that's open you can now choose the symbol that you would like or choose the multiple symbols that you would like once you've chosen the symbol that you'd like just over here it says Bitcoin cash versus US dollar you can go up and you can tap on show over here so once you've done that it'll now be um, visible and you can tap on close and you can see that it is over here now so um, if you right click on any one of these you can just tap on hide if you want to hide them 
um, and we want to just hide all of these quickly so that we can get them out of the way so now you can see what is actually happening over here and if you are going up to your new order um, on the toolbar right at the top you can tap on that and you can see now that um, you can select your symbol over here so we're going to go ahead um, the Bitcoin cash was US dollar and as you can see here there is a sell price and as well as a buy price so um, you can also see it actively uh, moving up and down in this chart on the left hand side you can now select your volume or um, the amount of units that you want to buy or sell in the market uh, you can also set your stop loss which is the uh, amount that your trade will stop at once you've hit that number if you're um, at a loss and the same goes for the profit on the right hand side over here you can also leave some comments over here um, you can have literally whatever you want over there that's completely optional and then the type there's a pending order or a market execution when the um, type is on market execution it does say the trade will be executed at market conditions and the difference will um, with requested price may be significant so yeah we want to just keep that exactly how it is and right over here you can now start trading you can start buying and selling on the markets and if you do say perhaps you tap on sell by market you can just tap on that what it does is it gives you um, the option well let's go into another one over here and uh, let's go to this one you can see on the left hand side that it is actually active and if you tap on sell um, it does uh, tell you that it has been done successfully but if it has not like right now I don't have any funds but if you do um, it'll say that it's successful and you'll be able to actually print a report of that trade that you have just done there we go ladies and gentlemen if you want to know how to use Hanko trade this is the basics of the setup I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave us a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video cheers for now